hello everyone you're welcome to an ea project today we are going to be making a lined zipper box pouch you can use them for makeup items and it is also very suitable as a gift item for family and friends for this particular project i'm going to be using four leather and for my lining i will use satin any material of your choice even old jeans material is suitable for this project. I will be leaving all the measurements of these materials in the description section. So kindly do well to check them out and try your hands on this project and let me know how it turns out. So the first thing I'll be doing is to attach my zipper I'll just take the zip roll and place it face down, the material will be facing up and I'll take the lining and place it facing down, right side facing down and then I'm going to sew Now I'm done sewing and the next thing I'll be doing is to flip over the material and top stitch. I would have taken this to the pressing iron table to press if it was uh, just maybe like cutting material I'm using but I cannot press fox leather because it will melt. So I'm just going to flip over and sew along this edge. So I'm done sewing, the next thing I'll be doing is to flip over and go to the other side, I'll turn like this and um, place this lining like this, making sure everything is well aligned, remember you can always pin, and I'm going to sew this other side. Next, I'm going to be sewing down those edges left and right like this. I will be careful not to sew over the zipper and I'm not also going to trim off that zipper. I'm done sewing and I'm going to be attaching my handle. So I'll be taking this webbing, I'll fold it into two and I will sew down and attach to the middle of my pouch. Now it's time to fix the zip head. I always prefer to trim down one side of the zip roll so that when I am fixing the zip head, I go down the longer part before I catch up with the shorter part. It makes it easier for me to get the materials, both ends of the materials to be equal. So I'm just gonna test see if it's sliding properly it's okay I'm not gonna zip all the way down I'm gonna flip this over very carefully holding the edge so that uh, the zip head doesn't come off so you need to turn to the other side like this and then close the zipper and now I'm going to make sure that the zip is in the middle of the pouch and the handle is inside and I'm going to press down and um, sew both edges and um, when I'm sewing I'm going to make sure that I reinforce the, the area where the zipper lies 
make sure to reinforce this area So next thing I'm going to be doing is to take my tape and from the seam I'm going to be measuring one and a half inch all around the four corners like this and I'll be marking with my chalk Now watch what I'm doing, I'm marking from the point I'm, I initially marked with my chalk to, to the underside of it. You will understand why I'm doing this later. After marking, I'm going to make sure I fold like this from this angle. So I'm going to be sewing over the line I marked and I want to make sure that I measure to ensure that the four corners are the same. This is what you get when you finish sewing. This is what you get all around. You can see that they, they all begin from the same point and ending at the same point. Like this. Next, I will be trimming off the uh, edges like this. I'll be discarding these trimmed portions off and I want to turn over the pouch making sure I get out all the corners Wow, this is gorgeous. I think it's beautiful. What do you think? Kindly let me know in the comment section what you think about this project. Is this something you would like to try out? Please let me know if you try it out. I'm anxious to find out what you think about this. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you liked watching this video, please kindly give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your friends and if you have not subscribed already please do so and don't forget to turn on the notification so that you don't miss any videos I share in the future thank you once again for watching